So before I start the video, I want to go ahead and go into the Discord server so you guys can see what they shared about the new update. I'm actually kind of excited because I've watched the anime that they're going to use for this update and I'm all caught up in the anime. I don't read mangas, it's just, I, I really just don't read much. I should, but I don't read, okay? But I am caught up on the anime, and I'm really excited because it ended right now, I think, unless they're gonna keep going. Like, it's episode 25, I don't know if they're gonna go past that. There's probably gonna be a new season, but I am really excited from the last episode. Anyways, Toad, what anime are you talking about? Let's go ahead and go into the Discord here. Uh, display capture. And here we are on the Discord. I'm gonna say, uh, say hi to YouTube in the chat here and and maybe one person will recognize me and say hi but uh, anyways hey look hey they said hi right there so on the left side over here under announcements script says update 12 will be released Friday shut down March 31st at 6 p.m. so 6 p.m. Eastern and then March 31st will be Friday so in about let's see that's 24, 48 hours plus another 18 hours. You know, we're almost three days away. But uh, yeah, Devil City content such as Devil Stars and Devil Portals will rotate out to so make sure to wrap up your runs by then. Limited units will become tradable. So any unit that you get from the Devil Portal will become tradable. Infinity Castle will reset. So make sure to get the Infinity Castle unit. And then Leader Lords will also reset and there will be new rewards. Boros and Shisui will still be attainable. So Boros and Shisui are still gonna be here. Now, what is the update you're talking about? Well, under sneak peeks, you will see that the new update is none other than My Hero Academia. And if you guys pay attention to the previous sneak peeks that have been shared before, Itachi was added to the game. Boros was added into the game. Meliodas was added into the game. Escanor was added. And now we got ourselves Deku. So we're getting this like Deku, Vigilante, Deku, whatever you want to call it. And I'm really excited for this. The shoot style Deku. I wonder if he's going to be a physical unit um, because the meta is kind of slowly changing into a physical meta. But I'm really excited for that. There's a ton of units that they can add for this update. And uh, yeah, if you guys are not caught up with My Hero Academia, I suggest you go watch it like now. The show has gotten so good. There were parts that were kind of slow, but it's so good as of now. Anyways, back into the game, what you should be doing is getting as many gems as you can. So I'm at 46,000. My goal is gonna, get, gonna be to get to around like 50, 55,000 before the update comes out. And the way to do that is uh, actually pretty simple. Do your daily quests. Look at this, this is gonna give you 400 right there plus an extra 500, that's 900. In total, you get 1,000 from your daily. If you go up to the summon area and you talk to Eliz Ooh, Escanor and Aizen on Danner, whew, um, you talk to Elizabeth over here and you're gonna get the quest from her, which you guys saw right here. I actually already had the quest, I just grabbed it. Killed 2,500 demons, another 500 gems, a so total 1,500 gems, plus your infinite runs will give you another, what is it? 600 gems each if you do all of them so you get about three four thousand gems from just doing your daily stuff and then of course you're going to do your infinity castle which if you guys not already done this i you need to start this now like it's going to take you 10 hours to get to room 100 so go start grinding it you're going to need to get there i might do a little bit more just so i can stay on this like top actually i don't have to do anything else just so I can get myself some more gems in case I get a little bored. But I got a lot of grinding still to do. And then of course the battle pass. Go grind your battle pass out guys. You'll get a ton of gems from that. That's how I got most of my gems actually. So yeah. <laughs> Last but not least before this update comes out. There's two more things you got to do. One of them is of course the daily challenge. And then the other thing being the tournaments over here. So do your tournaments. Look, if I stay first, I'm gonna get another 4,000 gems on the update, which is gonna be huge for me. And uh, doing the challenges, of course, with the star fruits is what you're gonna need to evolve the new unit. So I do have quite a bit of star fruits, but only 40 epics. So I need to grind a little bit more. And, and, and if you guys get bored, like really, really bored and you're like, 
I don't want to keep playing the game. I want to go to sleep. Make sure you go into the time machine before you go to sleep, guys. Even if you sleep for like 10 hours, let's say, you'll wake up to like an extra 2,000 gems from you just doing nothing except sitting in time machine. But uh, yeah, last but not least, make sure you guys are doing your raids. As you guys can see here, I, I, I did my last video and I did the Piccolo thing. And well, I just did a raid right now and I got another Piccolo. What is this? Why am I getting so lucky with Piccolo? I have a total of three Piccolos now. It just probably means that I'll have to do some sort of giveaway in the future. But I do have this Piccolo here, and I did get range three on him. So I am going to take him with me right now just to see how big his range actually is. I'm actually really excited because with the strength two that we had, superior two, his range is like 98 with a key skate left. But now we have range three and he's, his range is just gonna be absolutely absurd. I can already tell you that. Anyways, let's go into this Act 5, and we'll be right back. We can see what this Piccolo can do. Look, go grind for your gems. I am telling you guys, if you do not have at least 50,000 gems, you will be missing out. Of course, during the tournament, we'll get you guys rerolls, and then the Battle Pass will get you other stuff as well. So go play the game. Also, you know what I realized? I never actually chose the battle pass winner, so maybe that's what I'll do right now. Let me let me go to my video real quick and then do the winner of the battle pass giveaway. So uh, give me just a second here and let me set things up. So on here in the random comment picker, let's go ahead and put the link to the video right there. And then let's filter duplicate users, filter comments on a specific text, which was hashtag anlo, and then Exclude users. No, okay. And then we gotta solve the math problem there. Get the YouTube comments. There was a lot of people that actually entered this giveaway. Uh, yeah, I have to scroll quite a bit to find the winner here, but that's okay. And I'm glad that a lot of you people are entering here. Uh, oh, there's me. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, 1,242 comments, guys, and duplicate users were taken away. Look. Almost 1,400 cons. You guys are insane. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, turn notifications on. It really helps Toad out. Like this, get this to 1,000. Get every video to 1,000 from now on. Okay, let's go ahead and start the raffle and pick a winner. Who's it going to be out of 1,442? Yeah, tie. Yep. 1,242. Hi, Toad honestly never misses with the showcase. Also, can't wait until you hit 100,000 subs. We're so close. Hopefully, this weekend we will be able to hit 80,000, which is really exciting. So, thank you guys for being here. Anyways, I gotta go find Hi, reply to him. Anyways, Hi, if you see this, uh, make sure to comment back on your comment and reply with your YouTube, with your Discord username, and I will get back to you. Anyways, let me just go into the game mode here and uh, just grind and get Piccolo to see what his max range is. All right, I'll be back. You know, I know I have like two unique air hit. Whoa, I didn't even realize Frieza was actually invading from the, like, the sky. That's really cool. Anyways, you know, I realize I have two unique air units, but you guys literally don't understand what that means. Having two unique air units means I literally don't even have to worry about airs for like an indefinite future. Now you guys are saying, well, you also have unique pride and you also have like Vegeta or whatever. Yes, I have those units, but having unique air units is absurd. You, you guys have no idea. I mean, some of you have an idea, but this is insane. So I really hope you guys get lucky as well and get yourself some unique air units. Anyways, let's go ahead and go into a quick little time lapse. We'll start killing these things and we'll be back and when we can go ahead and start upgrading our air hitters and maxing them out so that we can uh, showcase what Piccolo's range is. All right, time lapse, go. I don't remember 35,000 enough money to go ahead and just upgrade him. Let's go ahead and set him to last though, and let's start upgrading him. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, there he goes. He gets his 80 range at upgrade six, and let's see it. Oh wow, ho, ho. Piccolo is literally hitting spawn from all the way back here, and I honestly could have even placed him further back. As you guys can see, I set him straight up on the line, so he's just hitting that line right there. It's insane. Upgrade him again and again, and there he is, 93. 
0.4 range at max, which is absolutely absurd. Now, of course, I don't have the Kisuke with me, but if I did have Kisuke, he would be over 100 range. And you know what's even cooler than 100 range? The fact that the update's coming out this Friday, so go grind the game, guys. I hope you guys are excited. Make sure to hit the like button. I'll see you guys later. That's it for this video. Reason thesis. Bye!